Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays uh, Sky Odyssey. So yeah, if this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by. Please do consider hitting the subscribe button, get notified every time new content comes out on the channel. Uh, or if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I do very much appreciate it. So last time we were together, uh, last time we were together, we, uh, we did some stuff. We, uh, we got flight, so we can fly now. Uh, we also worked on, uh, we also worked on these guys. Um, we worked on getting a, uh, the personal linker, right? Uh, so we have the uh, the personal link uh, for EMC, we have the refined EMC link, and we also have the compressed EMC link. And I wasn't sure exactly how to use those. Um, I have since figured it out. We also built a couple of these, or we built one of these, and then I EMC'd a couple more in, just to kind of play with it a little bit in the interim in between episodes. Um, and so what I did was, if you right recall, I had uh, matter condensers inside of here uh, making red matter blocks. We don't need to do that anymore. Uh, so we put a linker put an EMC link inside of each one of these. And so now, uh, if you look at here, we're gaining about 10,000 uh, about 10,000 EMC per second, roughly. Um, so that's uh, that's a bonus. So I got two over there, two over here, plus I got this guy, which has given us uh, 102 times five. So what, 510 EMC? This is by far the, uh, the, slow, sp the slow portion of the scale, whereas these are uh, definitely doing better job uh doing a better job to get us emc so yay uh cool good stuff and there was much rejoicing um today what are we going to do today well today i would like to work down here uh today we got the mob farm and we've also got this storage room in here and i want to be able to get all of this non-emcable stuff uh, I want to make a, a place for this non-EMCable stuff to get stored. And there's a bunch of it. So, like, if you come over here, we've got some stuff for Matter Overdrive that needs to go in there. We've got uh, Thaumcraft stuff that needs to go in there. We've got regular old vanilla Minecraft stuff that doesn't have an EMC value, as well as a few other modded things. Um, and then uh, we've got chickens. So chickens I'm not too concerned about. But we've got, but we've got stuff. We've got stuff that needs a place to go, and, uh, and I'd like to make a place for that stuff to go. Uh, and I'd like to do that today. So what we're going to do first and foremost um, is uh, now that we have flight, I want to get a way that we can. Well, let's, uh, I want to get. I want to make a way that we can kind of get uh, all of that stuff into uh, our uh, our drawers. And so I right down here we have a drawer controller. It's been here forever. Uh, but there has not been a way to get the items into it without building the old waterfall and come on down and uh, try to make your way over on another sub platform and stuff like that. I didn't want to mess with that. I wanted to wait until I got flight because uh, it's going to make it easier. So we're going to get some item conduits today. We're going to do a little bit of Ender IO type stuff, get some item conduits. So let's uh, let's see if we can dig into this uh, item conduit. So the item conduits require uh, conduit binder, which is <laughs> Easy peasy. That actually has an EMC value, so that's good. And then we also needed uh, pulsating nuggets, which comes from pulsating iron, which comes from, you can do it in an induction smelter, which is what we're going to do today, because why not? So let's get ourselves a uh, an ender, or let's get ourselves an induction smelter. So induction smelter. This guy right here. Uh, we need some sand. We need an invar gear. We need a machine frame. We need copper gears. And we need a redstone reception coil. I think we have all of that. Uh, where? Oh, there. I think we have all of that. So first things first is uh, sand. Yeah, we have sand. So one, that's sandstone. Uh, I don't want sandstone. I want one, two pieces of sand. Yes. Um, <clears throat> And then we need uh, an invar gear. Do I have an invar gear? No. Can I? Do I have invar? Because if I have invar, then I can make an invar gear. I don't have invar, so we're gonna have to come up with a way that we can make invar. How you make the invar? Invar can be done with invar blend, which is pulverized iron and nickel. Hey, there is our in. So nickel. Give me a piece of you, and iron. Give me a piece of you. Yes, actually give me two pieces of you, because I believe it is two to one. Uh, actually, eh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, so give me those. Yes, please. Give me give me one of them. It's fine. Because that stuff should be EMCable, I think, shouldn't it? Should be. Give me that. Come up here. No, you are not, not EMCable. Well, okay then. 
Are you uh, going to be almost done? Yeah, you are. Cool. All right, so there's that. So now what we can do is we can go just like this. Give me one of you and two of you. And that gives me Invar Blend. And then we can cook said Invar Blend right over here, right? Uh, that's a crusher. Uh, this is a furnace. Uh, so cook you. And that'll give us Invar, right? And then Invar should have an EMC value. So that's perfect. Uh, yes, it does. It totally does. We'll turn you back into a piece of nickel because we can get, then get EMC off of you as well, right? Right. So you are learned. Perfect. So now if I get one more of you, I should be able to make an Invar gear, right? So Invar gear. Invar gear comes from four of those. Perfect. See how this works? See how awesome this is? This is so cool. All right, so we'll come over here. We'll make an Invar gear. One, two, three, four. Invar gear. Teach it to this guy. Booyah. And get rid of you. And now we should be able to make, uh, or at least get close to being able to make, uh, the induction smelter. So we need that and that. We need a machine frame. Cool. I think I have those. Yeah, I do. Sure, I have a machine frame. Why wouldn't I? Oh, give me that gear back. And then a couple of copper gears. So gears, copper, yes, please. And then a reception coil. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now, you, 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 induction smelter, and he's learned, so we can make another one. Sweet. Uh, let's give him some power. Um, we only need him for a minute, right? I, like, once we get this thing going, we're really not going to need much of it. Do I have power cells? Can I do power cells? I can do power cells. So give me a power cell and give me a power cell card. And uh, we're going to hook you up to this one, I think. Yeah, why not? So we'll go ahead and link you. And we'll go down, let's go down here. Um, eh, eh, yeah, we'll go in, let's go in here. So we'll set you up just like so, and uh, we'll give you power just like so, and then we'll give you this also just like so, and set all of your sides to out, and you should start getting power. Sweet. Okay, so now we want to make pulsating iron. So pulsating iron is just an ender pearl. We have one of those. Oh, and I have you, so you guys can go away. Uh, and also a uh, piece of iron. So give me one of you, right? And then we put you and you in there, and we should get, very slowly I might add, but we should get pulsating iron. And that pulsating iron is does have an EMC value, so we only have to make the one piece, right? Um, and with as much EMC as we're making, whew, we're doing good. I think we're doing okay. I would like to upgrade these uh, machines. I need to figure out where I want to put all my machines because right now they're kind of in a bad place, uh, which is uh, which is cool. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Got a got a little text message. I had to check real quick. So there, learned. And if we go like this, I think do you have an EMC value also. You do. So hey. Cool. And now we need conduit binder. So conduit binder comes from conduit binder composite. Conduit binder composite has an EMC value. So we just need clay, gravel, and sand. Easy enough. So clay, gravel, and sand. So now, should, do I have a... Uh, I do have a so conduit binder check teach you the EMC value cool and then we go cook it and that'll give us conduit binder itself which is awesome because that's where we want to be so conduit binder check we're doing good today we're doing good on this now I it, it, and I, I, I appreciate all the feedback that you guys are giving me on the uh, on the other episode that just came out uh, here within recent uh, days uh, it's been a it's been a roller coaster ride, and it's been good stuff. So now that we've got that, um, now that we got that, I think we're uh, I think we're in good shape. We can get rid of you and you and you, right? And we can take all of you. This is there's a lot of this, isn't there? Uh, and we can make ourselves some EMD, or EMD, uh, some Ender IO. <laughs> Those of you that know who I am and know what I do, EMD is. Uh, Kind of an interesting kind of a thing. So give me, uh, nope, not there. Go over here. 
give me one of you, zoop, and one of you, like zoop and zoop, and now we have item conduits. How about it? How about it? Item conduits. Yay! And we have that. Yay! And we have that. Yay! We also have chicken poop for some reason. So now we just need some conduits like so. Give me a whole stack, why don't you? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now we can go downstairs, right? And we can start piecing this thing together the way that we want it to be. Um, so one of the things that we want to be able to do is coming off of this guy right here, our ranged collector. Uh, we want to be able to, uh, here gonna be export active all, the, well, mm, we want him to be act, active all the time, but we're not gonna make him active just yet. Uh, we need to get over to this guy. So you're gonna be insert, right? And not extract. We're gonna bring you along like so. Oh, that's a crafting table. Uh, we're gonna bring you along like so, just so that we can kind of get everything together like this. And basically what that's going to do now is anything that comes into the range collector that has a storage space will go over here. But that's not exactly what I want to happen. Um, not with everything anyway. So there are going to be some other things. Let's take a look at one of the other things that we're going to need. And that is going to be something to open loot chests or loot crates. We had this before, but uh, because the system was getting all backed up, we didn't have a place to put it. So I want to put this in the system now too. Uh, so the first step... The first step of this whole process coming through here is I want any loot crates to go in here. So we're going to change this. Uh, we're going to change the priority to 10. Uh, we're going to make it a higher priority than everything else so that anything that can go in here, and the only thing that should be able to go in here are loot chests. Okay, I'm going to make this one's priority less than that. So let's go with, eh, well, zero is fine. Uh, the other thing that we're going to need to do, though, is we're going to need to pull items out of here uh, and, and bring them back into here as a separate input because they, some of the items that are in here might actually go in here, and then they also might go uh, back into, uh, they also might be able to be non, -E or they might be able to go into EMC, and they may not be able to go anywhere at all. So the other thing we need is a EMC link. So if we put an EMC link right here, personal EMC link like so, and do him, oh, let's say right there, and make his priority somewhere in the middle, uh, priority, uh, let's say five, right? Anything that has an EMC value will go in here, right? And then we can also do this. We can bring uh, you out, you over, and you in, right? So you're going to be insert, you're going to be extract, and you're going to be always active. Over here, you're going to be insert, do not extract. You're going to be insert, don't extract. And I believe I set you up as insert already, right? I did. Okay. So now, any mob drops that come down out of there, the first place that they're going to hit is the loot crate opener. So any loot crates will go in there. Any loot crate stuff that comes in there will come out come across and go here if it's an EMCable item. If it's not an EMC EMCable item, then I want it to come out of here, right? And just go back over to here, right? That seems like it should work. So let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're probably gonna have to, oh, hey, I can't get out. I can't get out, I'm stuck. We're probably gonna have to uh, set this up so that um, some of the items, some of the items might get stuck in here, right? Because they don't necessarily have a place to go. Uh, but that's kind of, that's okay. We can make that work. So let's turn the lights off. Oh, that's no. Nope, turn you on. Turn the lights off. There we go. So you should start making mobs. Yeah. Let's go over here. Now well, that didn't work. And so now, if we come down hither. We should see. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, why am I getting? Okay, we're good. So you should start seeing items pop into you that you can handle. Yes? I think that's how that's going to work. 
Oh, ha, apparently not. Oh, I know what the problem is. Hold on. <laughs> fix it. Gotta fix it. I forgot to, uh, forgot to set this for, for a blacklist. <laughs> it's whitelist. Blacklist. Now all items can go in there. So you should go in there, and you should go in there. Ow, hey, quit it. And all of you should be able to go in there. Uh, nope, you can't. Are you not pulling out of there? You're not pulling out. Why are you not pulling out? Let's go look at this again. I was thinking that this would work. And it should work, I think. So you... Mm. So you're set up to be insert. Oh, you know what? I bet I didn't turn you back on. I didn't. Always active. Cool. So now you should... Yep. Okay, so you're getting EMC-able items. Nice. You are all EMC-able items. So go ahead and give me all of that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, bows. Those are EMC-able. Cool. Any loot chests should be going in here. So do we have any loot chests in there? No. Cool. I think we might have had. I think we might have something. So what we need to do now is we need to wait for this to get some more items that don't have a place to go, and then we can gradually start building them into the storage drawer system, which shouldn't have anything in it as of this moment. Uh, so let me go ahead and see what we've got, and then uh, and then maybe we'll go from there. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are definitely getting uh, some items in here that are not storable. So we got like Android heads. I didn't select that. Uh, we got Android heads and energy packs and Inferium Essence and all that good stuff. So I think it's time that we kind of give this stuff a place to go. So Inferium Essence, uh, if you'd be so kind, would you please, uh, would you please go right there? Um, because that would be cool, and you should now not have any Inferium Essence in there. Cool. Uh, the other stuff that we have, like we have an Android head. Uh, I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put Android parts. Mm. I'm gonna put Android parts there. Right, so you have one Android head. I think you can get more than one. I'm not 100% sure. So do you go... So you're plus one 320. What's this one over here? Plus one 320. Yeah, so you should... You should go there. Do you not have, can you not pull that out and send it over to this guy? That would be unfortunate if you can't do that. Uh, energy packs, that's, that should be easy enough. We should be able to manage those. So there's five, right? And those are all gone. So torsos, so we may have an issue with the parts for androids because there's, because they're not necessarily stackable. Now what is the name of the, there's a block. Uh, someplace that will kind of do that for us. There's a block that will that will make that change for us, and I can't remember what it was called. Um, it was a chest, right? I think it was a chest of some kind. Uh, draconium chest? No. I'll have to figure this out. It was from. It was a cool mod that would stack unstackable items. Uh, hmm, stack, compact drawer, no, anti-barrel, that's it, it's the anti-barrel, ooh, we need an inner chest, can't do the inner chest because we don't have any blaze powder yet, so that could be a problem, so, huh, well, let's take a look at what we've got gotten done in here, we did get uh, one of these, so give me that, and give me that for that, that's cool, um, anything else that we have gotten that we could probably... Uh, that we could probably work our way towards a good end game kind of a thing with. I don't think so. I mean, for the most part, we're doing okay just with these Android parts. Those are the problem. And the loot barrels, the loot crates, those are fine. But it's just these Android parts that we're going to have to find a way to get rid of somehow. I suppose we could put it, we could output them to a chest. Yeah, see, now we got two Android heads, and we've got an Android head here, and it won't, uh, it won't go. Is there a drawer upgrade at storage? 
upgrades. Is there one that does like fuzzy mode? Creative vending, creative storage, conversion, auto, -conver auto converts compatible items? That might be something we might want to look at. Um, but is there one that does like fuzzy mode? Where it, it doesn't worry about NBT or, or metadata? Maybe this conversion one. Conversion compatible, converts compatible items. We could try it, I guess. It's just lapis sticks in a, in a, in a drawer upgrade. Do we have all that stuff in here? So drawer, uh, so I need you, I need some sticks. I said I need some sticks. And we should be able to make you into a drawer upgrade, right? That should be that and that, yeah. And you should have, yeah, you have EMC value, so I can do you like that. And then we just need lapis, right? Lapi. <clears throat> and then this guy here is uh, also sticks, so that's cool. I've got all of that. So conversion, dude, dude. Okay, let's make sure that you are learned how to be built. Awesome. And if I stick you in there, you start pulling items out of there? Negative. Negative. Doesn't do it. So I'm guessing that compatible items would be like, or dictionary, like lead versus lead, or tin versus tin, or some, you know, different ingots, uh, different ingots from different mod authors that are the same, you know, like the same component, right? Uh, I want to say that copper, yeah, like if we did copper, copper usually has a couple of different versions, right? Copper ingot. So there's a copper ingot there. And is there one, another one? Oh, maybe not. Hmm. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. If you guys have a, a way, well, it's going to have to be antibarrel, I guess, isn't it? The antibarrel is definitely the way to go on this because those would go into an antibarrel with no... Uh, no issues whatsoever, and I don't think there's any way that I can get right now. Um, Blaze, is there? Is there another in this pack? Like I don't even know if there's another in this pack. I'm guessing that there probably is. Um, I'm guessing. Doesn't talk about world gen at all. Compressor, blaze rod. How do I get blaze powder? I can do hellish matter. I can do cinder pearls. Collector fuel upgrades, fluid, uh, sulfur with XP. Hmm, that's a possibility. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What else do we have that we need to find a place to put all of the items? So that would be all of this stuff. So all of you, water seeds, water essence, you, 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 uh, you, and you. So let's. Let's go with Inferium Seeds. Do I have Inferium Seeds? I do have Inferium Seeds. So we'll put the Inferium Seed there. We will put the Water Seed there. We'll put the Water Essence there. We'll do Nature Seeds. Yes, please. We'll do Nature Essence. We'll do Dirt Seeds. Yeah, sure. We'll do Dirt Essence. And then we should still have Stone with Stone Seeds. Yeah. So stone and stone, and then we got this guy here, which is uh, which is something that we definitely need to have later on. Um, we'll have to work that out. And we also have these other essences here because we were working on getting the next levels of mystical agriculture seeds, right? So, hmm, yeah, you're totally not getting anything. Oh, that's a melee android. That's a range android. Oh, so those are different androids. So if I put you over here, hold on. If I put you over here, you should, yeah. So that one's compatible. I gotcha. Well, that's not terrible. Let's go with the android torso. We'll put him there for now, I guess. And for now, I think that's actually doing a good job because it is what it is. What else upstairs did we have that we needed to find places for? So I like, I want to get, I want to get stone burnt. Uh, I also want to make sure when we've got slabs, we can put slabs in some place, I guess. Uh, machine blocks, um, specter cells, 
clay dust, maybe, I don't know. Uh, what else do we have over here? Chickens, not so important. We do have all of these guys, so let's get all of these android parts, right? We'll go put those away. So you are a range android, so you can go there. So you are range and melee. Okay, so we got three more of you that can go in there, that's cool. And then we got range and melee. What are you? You're an android leg, okay. That works. And then all of these guys, cool. Titanium spines, eek, that sounds, that sounds amazing. Uh, and that should do that, right? Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for today, folks. I think that's all the time we have for. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, RB? What in the world were you thinking? And we'll chat about it. Um, Folks, it's been a great time. I've had a great time doing stuff with you. It's been much appreciated. I do appreciate you hanging out with me to do all this stuff. It means a lot to me. Uh, all the support and the love that you guys give the channel is greatly appreciated. Uh, we'll do it again. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.